that just said, hey, look at the plane. I said, hey, I wonder if that's mom. Oh, just finished my first day of training and holy cow. Daddy-o, that is Katie-o. Hey. Which Unfortunately, is... our time together is going to an end. <laughs> Dad's about to drop me off at the airport. Yes. We drove like 980 so. miles together, though. Yeah. That was good. Yesterday. It was That's a good cool. drive. Yeah. Well, you drove the whole time, so. You slept the whole time. Yeah. Well, not the whole time. Look how long your hair is. I know, it's getting longer. Yeah, it looks nice. And I also think it got lighter a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it kind of looks like I dyed my hair, doesn't it? Like, see how this color is different than this color? But the last time I dyed my hair, I dyed it darker. Mm. So, nice. like when I was. Yeah. Um, Katie Elizabeth uh, just said, hey, look at the plane. I said, hey, I wonder if that's mom. Aw, it's not. <laughs> she's in Dallas. Uh, so we hope she's doing well. She sounds like she had a good first day, which is really yeah. cool. It's like the first day of school, it's exciting. <laughs> See, most adults don't get to like start over and like experience that kind of thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's fun that she gets to do her own little. Yeah, so we're teasing her as like adult. Day camp. It is. <laughs> Not even day camp. It's like sleepaway camp. Oh, right. She's gonna be there for four weeks. Right, but really nice hotel. Yeah. Instead of a tent. Yeah, or a cabin. Right. She's not slumming it. Right. Yeah. Uh, but we miss her already, and hope she's doing great. Whenever yeah. I see a Southwest plane, I think, oh, I wonder if she's in that one. She's really. Stuff. She's not. She will be eventually. Right. Um, I got my tooth fixed. school again i've seen you guys i've what, I've seen you four four times since school started uh -huh. it's been two weeks yeah it's nice i like it yep but the funny thing is mm -hmm. a lot of the times i've been in maryland but like you think oh yeah i see you a lot because you live in florida now that's right but that's not true it's not true it's it's just we just things keep happening Agreed. um which is fine with me because, well, it's expensive, but it's nice to see you guys. Oh, also, my shark watch. Hey! Thanks, Dad, for getting it for me. Because I love you. Um, so and now. You're my favorite. Now I can actually check what time. I just start. I used to doing it again because I stopped. What time is it? It's, uh, 5:42. Uh oh. I'm late for the plane again. Is it kind of? Oh, it's 5:40. Oh. But this will help me if it's two minutes early. That's perfect because then if I'm two minutes late, I'll be on time. Exactly. Yep. Um, okay, so um, there it is. I hope Jill's doing okay. I think she's um, she's blogging her day, so. I think you know, the past th actually, this is funny. The past three times, I think I might have been wearing this exact outfit the <laughs> last time I flew. Um, but the last three times I've flown, um, the clear members and the Southwest flight attendants have both asked me if I'm a minor. Oh, really? Because to go through clear, like, they were asking me if I was a minor for, for mom. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, like, you can talk to me. She, they're like, oh, is she a minor? I'm like, well, I'm right here. You can ask me. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm 19. Thank you. And then I get on the plane and three of them asked if I was older than 15. Because they asked me 15 to send the exit row and me and my mom always send the exit row. <laughs> That's funny. Which is crazy because I'm like, really, guys? Come on. That's funny. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So hopefully... Oh, maybe I'll send the exit row. Yeah. Maybe not. So, I don't know. It'll probably be taken. My I'm like C forty something, so I'll be I'll be on there late. But yeah, sure. all right, well, it's good to see you guys. Um, have a safe trip back. She's got to go take a flight from here to Jacksonville and then drive all the way to Tallahassee. So yeah. get on home with me at your uh, I will. Later. I will. My wrist is getting tired. All right. We have a vlog for you guys. Love you guys. So, hey, send you to mom. Hey mom. Right. Hi mom.
We just made it to the training center on the bus. It was about a 10 minute ride and we're going in and going to meet our trainers for the first time. Very excited. I'm coming home for my very first day. Let me put all my stuff down. Look, I've got like my backpack, my water bottle, my wallet, my key. Whew. Just finished my first day of training and holy cow. I'm gonna sit down because my feet hurt. Well, let me show you my cute, cute shoes. These are my Viveas, absolutely adorable, but I've been standing on them for, oh, I don't know lots of hours and we walked lots and lots today. The corporate campus at Southwest, I showed you a little bit of our tour, is huge, three huge buildings and con connected by a, uh, a bridge, like a sky bridge. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing. <laughs> I, I'm just talked out though. As you can imagine, there are about a hundred flight attendants, flight attendant candidates in the room. And we all have these personalities. I mean, I guess there's people who aren't as bubbly or whatever, because there's a lot, of, a lot of different personalities there, but it's a lot of like interacting and and just funny and smiling and, and just genuine though. It's all genuine fun and you're getting to know people. So you're like going up and talking with people and holy cow, I am exhausted. Plus the fact that we started this morning at, what time did I get on the bus? I think I got on the bus at 5.15, 5, 5 a.m. maybe? I can't remember something, I can't even remember. But I know that tomorrow I have to be down at the bus stop at 5.15. I know I have to get on the bus at 5.15. So if you be at the bus stop at five, get on the bus at 5.15 and the bus leaves at 5.30. So anyway, it has been an absolutely wonderful day. I'm going to put you down for a minute so I can just sort of relax. Oh, look at what I did though. During lunch, I never spill on myself. Look what I did. I spilled right on my shirt. Okay. <laughs> I just took about an hour to like decompress, but not really decompress because I was editing, but that's okay because um, I wanted to make sure to get some, get my one video up for you guys. Um, it was the Q&A video. So hopefully, well, you probably saw that now like a week and a half ago, but if you haven't, you should take a look at it and I can link it at the end of this video. But I'm eating my popcorn and like scarfing it down because I had lunch at like, since we started so early, I think lunch was at 1130. And I'm not starving. I'm just, I have the munchies. And I'm, I was like nervous energy because I'm so tired. <laughs> it was only day one. Anyway, it's all right. Let me let you know what we did today. We had a very cool day. I am so impressed. I knew it was gonna be though, because I know Southwest and I'm very impressed with that company anyway. But it just, in this whole day of orientation just endeared me to Southwest even more. We had, um, we learned some of the history, which I knew most of only because I'm such a Southwest geek. Um, we learned about the hospitality and the, the standards um, for the company. We got our iPads. If you guys have flown Southwest, you've seen flight attendants that they carry their iPads and look at it. So if you order a drink from me, I put it on here and then I can take your payment right here unless you're using a valid drink coupon. So that's our iPad and all of our training, our manuals, everything like everything is on that. So South, or flight attendants are like glued to their iPads because all of our communication, everything um, comes from that. So we'll have that 
and work with that very closely throughout the next four weeks and beyond. And then we got a little gifty gifty. This is the Southwest water bottle that they gave to us. Oh, I get to write my name there. Jill is the heart of Southwest. Yay. So I'm excited about that. I will probably use it. I may need to make sure to wash it, but if I use it, I don't want to lose it. So sometimes I like might put it just as a decoration because I think it's so cute. Anyway, that's what we're doing. And so now, so we've, um, Again, there's about 100 flight attendants divided into two different classes. So we were all together today, but tomorrow we'll start with my class goes in the morning and then the other class goes in the afternoon. So I think I have an 11 hour class tomorrow. But anyway, um, we were able to like, you know, meet each other and like create little study groups and create little groups of people. So I have a little study group. There's five of us in it, five, maybe six. And um, we're meeting right now. I'm gonna go down in the lobby and get them. So we're meeting, we're gonna practice our PAs, which are our public service announcements, which I'm sure I can say to you guys because it's public information. I'm not gonna share any private information, but that's okay. Public information, because if you go on a Southwest plane, you will hear it. It's the one that starts with, good afternoon. We'd like to welcome you aboard Southwest Airlines flight 1234 with service to Orlando. Today, more than ever, we'd like to thank you for choosing to fly with us. The flight time. Attendant. Thank you again for choosing Southwest Airlines. Welcome aboard. So that's one PA, that's the opening PA. And then there's an emergency PA that we're working on too that I, I pretty much know. I mean, I'm, I've been saying it for the past four months, like I, I know it. Um, maybe I'll share that with you guys tomorrow. So anyway, we get tested on that. So um, we're gonna have a little testy testy. And I know that some of the people don't know them well, so I'm gonna help them learn those. And then um, the other thing is, yeah, we have some homework, just some like, policy stuff we need to go through and sign off on and that kind of stuff. So that's the homework for today. And then um, up again early tomorrow. So I will see you guys probably before I go to bed. And I hope that Brennan and Ryan and Katie and Mike, maybe somebody checked in with you and let, let you know what's going on. But I've checked in with each one of them and they're doing great. So see you soon.